This is the outer cover worn over the body. This version is a covert cover typically worn under clothing and it is made of cotton. This is the ballistic insert. Inserts are typically wrapped in waterproof materials like plastic or impregnated nylon. For the sake of time, the waterproof cover has been taken off. As you can see, the vest is made of Kevlar, with the exception of the anti-stab and spike layer, which is made of steel. There's a total of 20 layers of Kevlar, not including the backing for the anti-stab and spike layer. Here is the anti-stab and spike layer. It's comprised of layered steel discs. This means it is more flexible than a monolithic plate. Kevlar is inherently resistant to cuts and abrasions, but not stab resistant, namely against knives and spikes. That's because the tip of a sharp instrument, as opposed to the projectile from a handgun, is significantly smaller, so it could push apart the woven fibres of Kevlar. In addition to that, bullets don't have a constant force pushing them forward, as opposed to a man with a knife or a screwdriver. The role of the metal plates are to prevent further penetration, and also have an effect of reducing trauma.